this is Maggie from Personal Euphoria. So today we're just doing some very gentle exercises for the low back and hips. So if you have low back or hip pain, this is a nice series to start with in the morning or to end your day with. Um, as always, if something hurts in your body, even though this is supposed to be gentle, you can skip that one. So we're going to start lying down and ideally you're on a firm surface, but if for some reason you can't get down on the floor, you could lie on a bed and do these. Not ideal, but it's doable. So the first few you're going to do are just gently rock your hips back and forth. And you're lengthening the low back into the mat and then creating a natural arch. And as you rock back and forth here, you don't have to force it in either direction, but you don't want to squeeze your butt. You want to feel like your abs are doing the work. So gently rock back and forth. And you'll do a few of those, right? And you could do these all day long. You could do these standing. You can do these sit in a seated position. You can do them before you get out of bed. After a few pelvic tilts, we're going to stop and pause in neutral, and we're going to do a partial hip release. So you're going to let one knee go out to the side and come back up, then the other leg. So while we're loosening up the hip joint, the goal here is when one leg goes out, not to let the glute follow suit. So you're going to keep equal weight on both butt cheeks and only let your knees go out to the side as far as you're able, able to stabilize that pelvis. So we'll do a few of those from side to side. Right, and so a small move is okay. It's all right if your knee only moves this much right now. You're still moving. From there, we're gonna advance both of those a little bit. So you're gonna start in neutral for a full hip roll. Heels right beneath your knees. You're gonna rock to imprint and then squeeze your butt and peel off one bone at a time, taking a deep breath in at the top. Exhale, roll back down and release to neutral. I'm just gonna bring this arm out of the way, but your arm will stay at your side, just so you can see what my back is doing. You're gonna rock to imprint, peel off. And if it bothers you to come up high, you don't have to come this high. And roll it down. And you could do five to eight of these. Tuck the tailbone and peel off and roll down. We'll do three more today. Abs pull in, rock to imprint, then squeeze your butt, peel off, and roll down. Two more. And peel, roll through the spine, and lengthen down. Last one. Keeping the weight in the heels, peel off, roll through the spine, and lengthen down. And now from here, we're gonna advance the partial hip release to a full hip release. So you've got that slight arch in the back, you're neutral, and you're trying to keep even weight on both glutes or both butt cheeks. And one knee drops out to the side, straightens, the knee goes up and you pull it in. Drop out, reach, turn up and in. Drop out, reach, turn up and in. Drop out, reach, turn up, in. Drop out, reach, turn up, last one. Out, reach, up, and in, other side. Drop out, reach, up, and in. Drop out, reach, up, and in. 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 Last time, out, reach, up, and in. From here, you're gonna let your back rock against the mat. It's just gentle. You're gonna bring one leg in and interlock your fingers on your shin. So when you do this move, it should look like nothing's happening, but you're actually using your hands to pull your knee in, but using your leg to push into your hands. So you'll have equal pressure, so nothing will move in either direction. It's called push-pull. So inhale here, take a deep breath in. Exhale, push-pull for five, four, Inhale, release. Exhale, push, pull. Four, three, two, one, release. And you don't have to push as firmly as you can. You can be as gentle or as firm as feels good in your body. Again, push, pull. Three, two, one, release. Push, pull. Five, four, three, two, one. One, let's do the other side. Bring the other leg in and we'll push, pull. Release. Push, pull. Release on an inhale. 
push pull five four three two one release last time push pull five four three two one so we have one more exercise it's optional uh, and it is not an option for people who've had a hip replacement so if you've had a hip replacement what you're gonna do is stay in what's called constructive rest you'll stay in this position it's a it's one of the only ways that some of your hip flexor muscles can relax so it's actually an exercise to sit here uh, if you're gonna do the next exercise if it feels good in your body at the end of that you can stay here neutral spine feet relaxed and you can lie there for 30 seconds to five minutes, whatever feels good. Otherwise, the four stretches next. You're gonna cross your ankle over your thigh and let your knee reach out to the side. If this feels like enough of a stretch, you can stay here, or you can rock to imprint and bring the other leg up and hold it. So wherever you feel a good stretch, comfortable stretch, you're happy being there, you don't feel like anything's gonna snap or break on you, you do not have to force the stretch. You'll stay here for about 30 seconds on each side, which I'm gonna guess we've been on this side at this point. So you'll release that leg, do the other side, and you would hold here for about 30 seconds. Again, only if you want or feel you need or could benefit from more of a stretch pulling that leg in. Whatever feels better for you, right? Stretching should feel good. We don't have to work through pain to hold a stretch. If you want a part of your body to release for you, you've gotta put it in a place where it can relax. and then release that leg. So I hope your hips and low back feel good all day. Uh, have a wonderful day and keep moving.